Hey y'all, it's Betsy and Mom from Happily Ever After, etc. And we are back with another garden video. So after way longer than we thought, Mom is finally planting her loquat tree. So if you remember, she had an 80 year old magnolia tree that was right here in this garden bed. And it had to be removed. It was dying. It was awful. It was a beautiful tree, but the, uh, the power lines were cutting it off and it was dying. And so you can see my brother here finished the hole. My mom started it. And tomorrow she's going to pick up her loquat tree at the local nursery. So tell him about the loquat tree, mom, and say it loud. The loquat tree, I, I don't know. What am I supposed to tell him? Tell him what it is. It's like a, um, it's a fruit tree, right? It's a fruit tree, yeah. And, and so it's a medium sized tree, it's not a big yeah. canopy. Gets 20, 30 feet tall and wide ish. Yeah. So it won't interfere with the power lines. And it's evergreen, which is what she wanted. She wants something that keeps its leaves. And it's it's a citrus like fruit, but it's not an orange um, right. fruit. So it'll be interesting. They're apparently really hardy trees here in the south. Um, we're in zone 8B, Alabama, but we, I've never grown one. Mom's never grown one, but she checked at several local nurseries and they all recommended these loquat trees. So she's going to have loquat, crepe myrtle, and her little dogwood, and that will replace the magnolia. So she's working right now on get the rest of prepping the garden bed for the loquat tree. I will put some footage in of digging this hole that we did take, and then tomorrow we will take you with us to the nursery. I'm not sure if I'm going, but if I don't go, mom said she would diligently film for you. Yes, I'm a diligent filmer. Yeah. So either way, get in a tree. Yep. Let's do it. All right, y'all, look at this giant tree that came out of this hole. It is all holy, as Will says. So we're gonna go get the loquat tree tomorrow and plant it. Let's hope it's deep enough because we're not digging it any deeper. And by we, I mean mom and Will because I didn't dig any of this hole. So we're at the nursery. As you can see, they have, I've brought you to this nursery before. This is Buds and Blossoms in Dothan, and they have just rows and rows of giant trees. This is not the biggest trees they have, but it's kind of like medium to large-ish. And so this is the loquat tree that mom picked out. She bought it several months ago, but you can see it has a really pretty strong trunk and then larger branches up top. Should be really pretty with the crepe myrtle and the dogwood. So they've gone to find someone to help us bring it over to the trailer. Mom and I actually came yesterday and they were closed for New Year's. So second trip and so many days and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get it. 
me, Cinnamon, Mom's boyfriend, Jim, and his dog, Hildy. We brought the whole crew. <laughs> Would it be easier to put it on your trailer or put it on the back of that? Sometimes pull up here, uh, custom the whole thing. Well, that's what I asked you yeah. to do. Yeah. If you could pull it on, do you mind, please? Yeah. All right, we're all loaded up. I'm gonna go ahead, take it back home, right, Cinnamon? Oh, she's filthy. Oh, good, let's go right in a mud puddle. Excellent. All right, y'all, we got the tree back from the tree place, from the nursery. And looks like we're gonna have to cut the bucket off and then backfill the hole. What'd you find for fertilizer? What are we using? Osmocote. Osmocote. We're gonna put some water in the hole and we're going to try to do it all very quickly because 10 minutes from here at my house, it is pouring down rain. This tree we would like to have in the ground before that starts. Someone else to go inside and now she wants back out. Probably in a place where you can just pull out. Stop. All right, stop for a minute. Level it off down in there. Grab that seat up. Just gonna try to level it out a little. And then obviously we'll put dirt in around the top and pack it in. Put the pot in again. Let's see. I think it needs more. Does it need to be flush with the dirt level or a bit above or a bit below? It should be flush, so just a little bit more. Okay. Obviously, if you forget to put water in the hole, you can water it from the top, but as much as possible, we want to encourage the roots to grow downwards 
and having water at the bottom of the hole is the best way to do that especially when it's a brand new tree going in the dirt and we want to kind of give it a helping hand so this is nothing earth shattering we're just putting water in a hole You basically just want to put the water in until it pools and it stops sinking down into the dirt so that it's available for the tree and then you kind of want the water what would you say mom like almost the surface of the hole mm -hmm. no. covering the surface yeah, we don't want to, we're not going to fill it up with water no the surface of the hole down there not the ground oh, 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 the, yeah the bottom the bottom of the hole excuse me I, I just didn't understand what you meant. The surface of the dirt. Ellie, are you helping? Supervising condition. Right. She's getting dirty too. Yeah, Way done. That's what dogs do. Yeah. That's what dogs would like to do. Okay. Alright. So now, put in the tree. Mommy, do you want to come? You might get splashed. I think so. Do so you want to get up and come and look at it to make sure it's at the right angle? How you want it? Or Yeah. So well, it's gonna once we like once it once the dirt's in there, it's gonna yeah. be very difficult. Yeah, we're not gonna move it yet. Well, I'm holding it against that side. That's okay. Oh. okay. Yeah. 
Why do you step on it, Mom? To compress the air. Because you don't want a lot of air pockets down around the root ball. So you want to compress all the air out, right? Yeah. Like you're rolling up a sleeping bag. Yeah, pretty much. Now we need to put more dirt over there. Yeah. Are you going to step on this side? Yeah, I got to get over there. So you also want to create kind of a, a, little a little bit of a well. So this part right around the trunk will be a little lower and then it'll go up just a little bit. And then I'll show you right around this crepe myrtle, we have a watering tree ring. What do they call those? Watering Self tree ring. Watering tree ring. <laughs> I feel I like they them. have a more impressive name, okay? I don't know. We just ordered them on Amazon, but they, you yeah, fill them with awesome. water, you soak them for several days first. Oh, several hours. Uh, it's supposed to soak them for like two days for sure. Oh, okay. And then they retain the water around the tree. And the reason we got these specific ones is because after you soak them the first time, they also will receive water from a soaker hose or from rain or from moisture around the tree so that you don't have to keep refilling them. Yeah. But we need to order another one for this tree. And when it's a baby tree, this is not a baby tree, but a new planted tree, consistent water is That's often key thing. to Survival. its success and not done. So here's the base of the tree. I'll bring you over to the crepe myrtle. We planted this one on a video last year. And here is the tree ring. So you can see how it's plump. That is because it has been receiving water from the soaker hose. Um, not a soaker hose, it's a drip system. You can see a line here. You have an emitter going to it, so it just fills it up. And we will put that right around our little loquat tree. Are you happy with it, Mom? Yeah. Let's get you a full view. We'll water it in. But here we go. We've got loquat, crepe myrtle, dogwood. So that's the dogwood might not make it with the heat wave and the freeze. We might have to replace the dogwood. Dogwoods are true understory trees. And once the loquat and the crepe myrtle grow up, it will be very happy. But just in the sun right here, it kind of stressed. So that's it. The whole loquat tree process. It took several days <laughs> and going to get it and planting it and of all the things we planted in this garden, it was very, uh, very weirdly rushed and also took many months. So, oh yeah, we bought this back in July, July. and it's January. But we were going to be gone. We knew we weren't picking it up in July. We only paid for it in July because they said we could pay for it and they would take care of it for us until mom was ready to plant it. So, all right, just going to leave that probably on a drip for couple hours unless it does start to rain and then she'll turn it off and we will see y'all in the next video mom face not butt come say goodbye with your head Bye.